नमस्कारम दिस इज डॉक्टर रोहित तापड़िया प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ केवाईएस कर्मयोगी संस्था शोलापुर एंड आई हैव एन ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू हेड दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विथ इट्स मेन एम एज स्वर्णिम भारत निर्माण संकल्प दैट इज रिवाइवल एंड रिवाइटलाइजेशन रिवाइवल एंड रिवाइटलाइजेशन ऑफ द गोल्डन एरा ऑफ दिस ऑफ दिस कंट्री ऑफ दिस नेशन and with this objective we have had been working since last 4 years that is since 2020 that is the year of our establishment and since then we have been uh, doing all our activities and projects under 125 plus whatsapp groups with over more than 200 youtube videos and more than 600 public posters as our outreach in the social context of all our projects and in this regard i feel very happy to announce that under the medical education department of our ngo we have come up with a project known as a health healer project that is the arogya bhishat prakalp and under this project we have three heads one which deals with the awareness campaigning of uh, the society second which deals about the health checkup programs and third last but not the least which deals with the training of medical students and other medical fraternities in different soft and hard skill aspects in this regard we have come up with a unique program called as episio to me the all in one suturing workshop the name is sushrut wanubis for this workshop sushrut is as we know the great surgeon of this land and wanubis which means i want to be and sushrut wanubis is sushrut like i want to be is the uh, headline of this workshop the main objective of this is that we uh, either do not get opportunity to have a hands on experience as an undergraduate student in our hospital environment of the associated and affiliated college or there is not a supportive environment in terms of people and other facilities or that we have been visiting many workshops in different state and national level conferences but then they have not turned out to be that fruitful in the learning context and uh, we have got bored and uh, probably in the era of competition we are not able to emphasize and prioritize these skills to be a part of our workshop uh, to be the part of our uh, training and education and for resolving this problem and realizing this fact as a medico uh, we have come up with a program this shushu wannabes under this we train young medical graduates of first year to final year uh, for different types of suturing the procedure of episiotomy which is one of the most basic and important procedures one needs to know as a medico irrespective of one choosing physician being a uh, one choosing to be a physician or a surgeon in the post graduation side and knowing this uh, procedure uh, hands on experience uh, for the same we come up with a 6 hour vigorous training of which 2 uh, hours include briefing and demonstration and using of live videos that we have been doing by our own selves and at the same time you get a 4 4 and a half hour slot to individually perform and hands on and uh, have a hands on experience of this skill with individualized uh, attention and uh, uh, corrections when and wherever required so i feel that this is a golden opportunity for all medicos who want to learn episiotomy and different types of suturing because this skill almost gets neglected from our side as a trainer uh, i have had had an experience of suturing more than 74 episiotomies as an undergraduate student since second year with a first hands on experience of learning on the patient itself and delivering babies since the second year and uh, assisting the cesarean sections which uh, the number which goes more than half a century and delivering more than 30 babies individually as a undergraduate student 
forget about the observations and assisted ones which are not of course included in this count and it's a very good number and has gained me a lot of confidence as a result of which so far we as an NGO have been training more than 250 undergraduate students under this program of Sushrut Wannabe's workshop and I look forward that you too will have an added advantage and would take this advantage to your credibility and your clinical skills and uh, as a medico and as a young budding medico and this has been uh, taken into consideration in an attempt that we develop better clinical skills so that we can offer better patient care and we can modify and make better the doctor patient relationship which will as a result uh, result into better patient management and patient care which will turn into a healthier society and ultimately will uh, uh, add on to the progress of our nation and for this uh, with this vision and aim and objective we have come together with this project i look forward to meeting you soon and uh, have a one-to-one -one, uh, communication and workshop with you making the full of this opportunity. Thank you. Namaskar.